Hi everybody, so this is Dr. Dan here, and today we are going to seed the cells for our slide toxicity essay. Um, I have everything we need kind of in the hood and ready. Um, this is, you know, not something I wanted to show you because it took a while, but it's really important to do so that while I'm in there, I'm not wasting a lot of time, not contaminating a lot of stuff, right? So I already got my tubes out and labeled. I already got my media and everything warmed up. Now it's just a matter of getting my cells. So I do have another flask. I'm going to go ahead and passage these cells just in case. Um, not only seed them into a 96 well plate, but I'm also going to passage them. All right, so let's go get the cells. So I know there's probably a few too many cells in my flask. Uh, I should have probably done this yesterday. I just didn't have time. So we will go ahead and look and see that there is going to be a lot of cells. Okay, so you can see there is, wow, that is just as confluent as can be. Um, those cells are just all top on top of each other uh, and ready to be let go and to be put into a new home so they can keep growing. Okay, so I'm going to spray this so we can put this in here, and we're going to just follow our normal procedure for passaging cells. And, of course, we're going to need to count them because we're going to need to know how many cells to put inside of our 96 well plates. I'm actually going to use two 96 well plates because I can do 20 experiments that way rather than just 10 experiment groups. Um, and I have plenty of cells to do that, obviously. So let's go ahead and passage these. You guys should be pros at this by now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and prepare my flask while we're waiting for the cells to come off. Go ahead and put some media in there. Okay, and so while we're here, I'll just kind of talk about what's going on, right? I, I already did all my calculations I need, so I know how to do everything, and this is really important. And I have my lab notebook all set up and ready. I did all the math. All I need to know is how many cells, right? So I'm going to see some more cells in here. I already know how many cells I need for my well plates, okay? I already know how much of each chemical I need when I mix chemicals. So that's really important to go ahead and get that stuff done ahead of time. And so once you get into the biological safety cabinet, it's really easy, right? You don't have to worry about messing things up. And just to show you my lab notebook, right, I kind of have everything in here that I need to do um, as far as, you know, mixing my chemicals and, you know, what I have to do to make the media and everything, uh, which we haven't done yet. But right now I'm getting out my cells. So while we're waiting, I'm also going to make uh, my media that I need. So we're going to start uh, by taking out, we need to make this 2% uh, serum instead of just DMEM only. So I have two things of DMEM only. I want to make them both 2% serum. So I'm going to go ahead and take off, and I didn't put a thing, so I'm going to use this 50 mil tube. I'm going to take off 10 mils from here. All right, so that gives us 40 mils. I'm also going to take 10 mils from here. And that gives us 40 mils. Okay, now if I add 
So this I'm just going to get rid of. There's no reason to keep this DMEM only. I'm going to add uh, 10 mils of the DMEM plus 10% BCS into each of these, and the result will be that I end up with 2% BCS in each of them. And so we need low serum for this because the serum really promotes cell uh, division and growth. And when we're plating on this 96 well plate for cytotoxicity, we just want them to survive. We don't necessarily need them to grow and uh, reproduce because we're putting a lot of cells into this 96 well plate anyway. We just want them to attach, and then we're going to feed them their chemicals and see if they survive. Okay, so now I need to make sure I relabel this. It's no longer DMEM only. 2% BCS. No longer DMEM only. 2% BCS. Right, and this I was going to use for something else, but I realized I didn't have enough tube. So this is just DMEM only, which we are going to get rid of uh, anyway. So I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, let's get our cells. Ah. So I'm going to give him a couple love taps here. And let you guys see what it looks like. Okay, there's a lot of cells. Looks like there's still some cells attached down there. I might have to tap it a little harder here. There we go. Now they've kind of let go and you can see them all floating. Okay, good. So now we're going to resuspend these cells in the 2% low serum media. Right? This is because this is what we're going to feed our 24 well plate with. And I'm going to resuspend them in, uh, I'll go ahead and use 10 mils. Oops. Okay, so that's bad, right? So I just ruined that um, because I just knocked that cap off. So I'm not going to use that one either. That's okay because I have another one out ready. Okay, so I'm, as I was saying, I'm going to resuspend in like 10 mils. No, of my... Low serum media. Sometimes you catch yourself, right? Okay, I need to use the low serum media. That's my goal here. But, you know, this is why it's also good to have lab partners around because they help catch your mistakes as well. Okay, that flask, I'm not going to carry too much about anymore. Oh, we have so many cells. You can tell you get a lot of cells when your media is cloudy in the resuspension. So just making sure I wash as many as I can off. Mix them up well. And I have my 15 mil tube here that says cells from flask. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and mix, just to make sure. All right, so first of our business is to count those cells. There's 10 mils in there. Okay, and while I'm at it, as I'm going to remember that I've got to get these things out because both of those I'm going to trash. So I'm going to go ahead and put these over here as well. That way I don't forget. Okay, so let's get a little tube. And we're going to count for 20 microliters.
Make sure it's mixed well so I get a good homogeneous mixture in my counting. Okay, here are the pictures for the cell count, each of the four quadrants of the hemocytometer. I think most of these cells are uh, viable, just like last time we did the count. I've pointed out some in here that I think are, in fact, dead. I know it's hard to see necessarily in the pictures versus looking into microscope, so that's why I'm pointing out uh, the ones that are probably dead for you. But go ahead and count these, and then you can take the quiz on Canvas. Um, to make sure you got the count and all the calculations we need to do based on the count correct. And then you can watch the next videos for seeding cells for the cytotoxicity assay.